Hi guys, this is Sadek from Robin.com. In this video, we'll show you how to fly the latest Ocean OS 15 ROM based on Android 15 onto Poco F5. It's support from the OnePlus 11. So with that in mind, please take a backup of all data on your phone. And then let's get started. So first off, get the latest Android SDK platform from your article from here. And start them onto your PC. You may start them anywhere you want. In my case, Advanced on C Drive and the following are the files of Platform 2 size you could see. You will get the following files. One that is done. Please enable USB debugging and OEML locking. That debugging is required for ADB command, whereas OEML locking is required to unlock the phone. So let's now enable both the toggles. For that, go to settings. From there, go to about phone and type on OS version seven times. Then go back, go to system additional settings, dev options, and enable the toggle next to OEML locking as well as USB debugging. Check mark I'm aware of all the risk and wait for 10 seconds. After that, type on OK. And with this, we have turned on the USB debugging. You might get one more prompt. So again, type on allow or OK. Let me show you. So type on OK and that's it. Let's verify if the debugging has been turned on or not. For that, go to the other part of platform tools over here. Type in CMD, hit enter. And now type in the command ADB devices and verify that you're having an ID. As you can see in our case, we are having this ID. If that's all well and good, now you have to unlock the phone as well. If you are on MIUI, you must simply use the mean lock tool. For HyperOS, you have to use a few tweaks. I have shown a few tweaks as well. Go to my article and from here, you may use the Hyper Exploit for HyperOS 1 or the method 2, 3 and 4 for the HyperOS 2. So get this job done. Once you unlock the phone, also re-enable USB debugging once again. Moving on. Now you get the ROM zip file from here. This is the Oxygen 15 port for OnePlus 11. Use the new one, either the non-NFC or on the NFC. For now, I'm using the NFC build. So get it from here and once you have got it, now let's boot on to the fast boot mode. For booting the fast boot mode, type in the command ADB, reboot, bootloader and hit the enter key. Your phone should now be in the fast boot mode in a few seconds. So let's wait for that to happen and then type in the command fast boot devices and verify that you are having a serial ID. Let me show you. If you're not having this ID, then please install the fast boot drivers onto your PC. We have made a link in the video on that. You may have a look at my article and get the job done from here. After that, right click on the windows icon and choose device manager. Then expand the Android phone section and verify your phone should be shown here. Let me show you just a second. Over here as Android interface, this you could see. So this and the ID next to Fastboot signify that we are now good to go ahead. So first and foremost, you have to flash the recovery file onto your phone. Just give me a second, let's search for the Oxygen OS. And this is the guide. So first off, let's flash the recovery file onto our phone. So in this regard, we have made a video, but I'll show you once again how to get the job done. The first step is done. The second step has also been done. The third step is also done. Now you have to get the recovery file. So get this file, the recovery version, not the boot version. The file will look something like this. Let me show you. Just give me a second. Downloads and at the very end, it should be the file. This is the file. Copy the file and paste the file here in the platform tools folder. Then rename it to something shorter. So let's rename it to twrp and the name becomes twrp.img. Let's now flash the file onto our phone across the slot A and B of recovery. So type in fastboot flash recovery underscore a b file name wrp.img hit the enter key the flashing will now start take a few seconds and as you could now see flash across both the slot a and the slot b as well one that is done type in the command fastboot reboot recovery hit enter it will take a few seconds for the phone to boot to the recovery mode and once that is the case your first actions do a phone formatting so let's wait for that and then You'll get the job done. So make sure you've taken a backup beforehand. If that's all well and good, then first off, go to the wipe section from the recovery. Format data, type in yes, hit the blue check mark. And the formatting is now complete. Now go back, again go back, once again go back, go to reboot and choose recovery. The phone will now reboot to the recovery and this will remount the phone data slot. In the meantime, your next course of action is to get the file of firmware file. So just give me a second, it should be in the top only. Okay, or I've given a link here as well. So get the latest global firmware, not for your region, but it should be the global firmware. Open this article over here. And the global is, I guess it's a MI. The region is MI for the global firmware. So the V is for Android 15 vanilla, I guess. MR is the phone code, which is the Poco F5. MI is for global, EU for Europe, IN India, CN China. XM is the Xiaomi firmware code, which is the same for all the Xiaomi phones. So we want the MI. Okay, it's given here as well. So get the firmware file from this link and download flashable firmware get it will take a few seconds for it to be downloaded ignore this it's some ui issue in the side so the region should be ignored for the global only start download 
and we have now got the firmware file onto our PC. So now you have to transfer both the firmware and the ROM zip file. So let's get the job done. In my case, you could see I could see the phone on my PC, but if that's not the case with you, then you could also use one more trick. Let me show you the trick. First off, transfer the files inside the folder platform tools. So copy both the ROM and the firmware, paste it here. Then rename it to something shorter. Okay, in my case, since my phone is shown here, I could skip this because it will take a lot of time. If your phone is shown here, then you must simply copy the ROM file onto your phone only. No need to paste it here. So just give me a second. It's somewhat lagging for now. So in my case, the phone is shown here. So I could simply copy the file and paste the file onto my phone. But if in your case, your phone is not shown here, then you could use the ADB push command as well to get the job done. I'll show you how. So let's transfer the firmware file using the ADB push command. So let's first wait for, to be for this file to be transferred. After that, I'll show you how to transfer uh, any file using the ADB push command. Let's first wait for that to, okay, this will take a lot of time. So let's just wait. So guys, the ROM is now transferred onto our phone. Let me now show you how to transfer a file using the ADB push command. So for the sake of reference, let's use the firmware file. The firmware file is over here. So first off, copy the required file inside the folder of platform tools. Let's copy it here and let's rename it to something shorter as well. Okay, let me, and let's say let's rename it to FW and the name becomes FW.zip. So now open the CMD window here, type in the command ADB push, file name which is FW.zip, space forward slash SD card, hit the enter and you could now transfer all the files in this using the same command syntax, just change the file name as you could see. We have now got the file of firmware as well. So now we have both the firmware and the ROM zip file. First off, let's flash the firmware zip file, choose it, swipe to flash. The flashing will take only four to five seconds. So let's keep a tab on that. And as you could now see, it's now flashed. Now go back, choose a ROM zip file, swipe to flash. The flashing has now started. And this will take up to around four to five minutes. So let's wait for that to complete. So guys, the flashing is now done. It was quite fast. So now go back and again, go back, go to wipe. Format data, this is a must as well. Type in yes, hit the blue check mark. And once that is done, you are now able to the OS. Okay, before that, one more thing is required. Sorry, go back, again go back. And now go to reboot and choose slot A. So please don't choose system, choose slot A. This has been told by the dev. So let's stick with that only because currently I flash the ROM in slot A only. The current slot is slot A. Usually we have to do a slot change after flashing the ROM file. But the dev has said to choose the slot A only. Let me verify it once. Yes, slot A only. So let's try it out that way. Tap on slot A. And now tap on reboot system. Changing boot slot is now complete. Tap on reboot system and let's now see what happens. So the first booting up will take up some time. That's all normal. Nothing to worry about. From the next time that will not happen. So as of now we are on slot A. If something happens and it's not able to boot to slot A, then we'll make a slot change. Okay, it's now booting up well and good. The boot animation has been changed slightly, but it's all fine. This also looks quite nice. And let's now keep a tab on the boot logo as well as the ROM setup screen, which might now appear in time soon. So always after flashing and doing a phone formatting, choose the slot A for booting up. Keep this one in mind. And now it's all well and good. Let's give it a few more seconds for it to boot up. And we now inside the OS. Well, exactly it's the same Oxygen OS with no tweaks whatsoever. That's great to see. English language. Region, let's say India. Next. Legal information, all fine. Next. Let's skip Wi Fi for now. Let's skip this for now as well. This will take a lot of time, so I'm skipping all of that. More, more, accept. Get a new phone ready. Simply more, agree. Let's go with gestures. Done. And we are now done and dusted. Let's go. So I'm currently ha having a OnePlus 11 as well. And everything is the same. This wallpaper is also quite nice. I guess from the latest OnePlus. 13 series if I'm not wrong and the QS price is exactly the same as well. Okay, you want to make a switch. Let's go with the split one. In this case, from the left, we will get the notifications only. From the right, we will get the QS tiles as you could see. This is the how I use and we have a few G apps installed. IR remote is also there. That's nice. And Gemini app is there as well. Settings menu over here. You could see all the tweaks. So mobile network connection sharing wallpaper styles from here. The flux seems have been added as well. Let's try it out any one of these. Let's say this one. You may customize it as well from the wallpaper. Choose the wallpaper, choose the style of your choice. Blur, you may increase the, the blur effect. You could not see it's blurred. This does not look quite nice. The lowest blur is fine only. Then these are the various tweaks in the wallpaper. You could see wide read and 
Lumina, Grid. These are quite impressive, but I usually go with the stock one only. If you want to choose from any one of these, let's go with the original ones. And in the depth, you can also add the depth effect for the wallpapers. So it's asking you to install a plugin. Just give me a second. Since we are here, let's do this as well. All this will take uh, some time, but let's do this. I want to check out how it looks. The wallpaper or the Wi-Fi is now connected onto our phone. It's now done. And let's now see the depth effect, how it looks. Install. Checking configuration, download in background. I don't think it will take much because I got it. The depth effect is enabled now. You could see the time as well in the background of this. Let's see any other wallpaper having this effect or not, which will look much better with the time. Let me see this one. Depth, you can now see this is showing the depth effect very nicely. If I turn this off, you could see the wallpaper and the timing, all these things comes at the back and uh, these timing, these things comes at the front, you could see. But enabling this will give you a depth effect. This looks much nicer. You can also change the color form here. Choose a simple one. There are many options to choose from. Let's apply the depth effect for now. And let me show you in the lock screen as well how it looks. Uh, turn on AOD. Yes, I want that as well. So you could, oh, the animations are quite nice as you could see over here. Let me show you once again. In the Going from AOD to, to the main screen, home lock screen. And again to the lock screen AOD. This animations are quite nice. And this will happen for all the themes because these are the flux themes. Then you also have the various wallpapers to choose from. You could see the classic wallpapers, live wallpapers are there. Sublime grandeur, sleek, aerial view, light and shadow, composition. And let's go back. AOD styles. This one with the wallpaper was quite nice, but you could also choose from any one of these AOD styles as well. They are there across all the OnePlus phones. And apart from that, the font style. These are the various font types. Let's choose any one of them. Okay, you could also get from market as well if required. They are, most of them are free. So you can change the font size if required. Let's keep it here only. Font weight, you can increase that as well for remote board. So I don't want that. Let's go to the discard stock one. The colors are there as well. The feature colors or even the wallpaper. The wallpapers are not that much having that much bright colors. You could see. So let's stick with this one only. Greek. This looks quite nice. Then edge lighting, you might be aware you will, whenever you get a notification, the phone's edge will light up. So the red one looks nice. Let's stick with that only. Apart from that, home screen and lock screen with drawer and with standard, this is fine. Home screen layout. So these are the various layouts. You could, if, if you want 6x6, then you have to obtain root. I made an article on that, how to get 6x6. Just give me a second, I'll show you if you want. But you could see this article, but you have to obtain root and that might not be the best action for each one of you. But if you are obtained rooted, then you could easily get the job done using this module, oxygen module. So it's quite a handy module as well. Do have a look at that. Five cross five is the one which I use always. Double tap to lock. This is the one which I use. Raise to wake, double tap to turn on the screen. It's locked, double tap to wake is also working. Everything should be at the bottom. This is overlapping with the wallpapers. They have too many apps as of now. Let's turn it off. Okay, apart from that, lock it. App, double tap to lock then in the display and brightness. You may switch to the dark theme as well. But I'm bored with the dark theme. Let's go with the light only. Color mode, font, display size, standard, font size. You may choose from here as well. And screen refresh rate. Okay, you may choose from the high or the standard in high. It will go up to 120 Hz, but then standard will only go to 60 Hz. Let's stick with high only. Then these are some of the other tweaks which you could have a look at about device you could see. OnePlus 11 5G or Sigma 15. And version is, let me see, CBA 247. This is the India build. So of Android 15, Android the 1st of July. So it's near about new one only, not an old one. That's quite great to see as well. Okay, from here it's showing a model number something different. I guess it's the China one. But uh, here is showing as the India one, not an issue. It's all fine till the things working. It's all fine with us. System one update, software update. You may get the update from here, but if this is not working, you may simply install the update from the table API as well. Get the update from my article and flash fire the recovery that will work as well. 
and apart from that you may have a look at some of the other tweaks from this section the icons wallpapers widgets layout transitions okay let me show you role i used to do this with the some other third party launchers such as the and not remember its name what there was some third party launchers with 3d effects i used to have the launcher way back but they were quite handy ones for the animations you could now see so that is done as well so guys that's all from this video if you have any query with regard to any of the steps let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching